Abigail Thomas McMillan is a simple girl from the fishing village of Guam St. John's. She's a Grenadian at its best. A wife, a mother, a daughter, a sister, and still a young woman in the making. She viewed the world as her playing field and decided to step out into it rather than remain in the traditional shades of the medical doctor, the dentist, or the lawyer. My journey started as a preschooler through grade, fifth grade at the St. John's Anglican School. And at that school, I successfully did the local common entrance exam and proceeded to the St. Joseph's Convent St. George's. Five years at St. Joseph's Convent prepared me for the nine subjects that I secured at the CXC level and matriculated for entry to TAMCC, T.A. Mary Show Community College. At TAMCC, I studied and secured an associate degree in natural sciences after two years. Cambridge English A-levels and... TAMCC's associate degree certificate qualified me for entry into Midwestern State University in Texas, where after or within about three years, I obtained a bachelor's degree in chemistry with a minor in biology. From Midwestern State University, I taught chemistry for two years at Corsicana High School in Corsicana, Texas. And when it, within that time period, I obtained a teaching certificate for the state of Texas. Mm, pretty much my two-year limit of teaching enabled me to reflect on and to return to my goal. I did the graduate exam, applied to graduate school and got acceptance, and I then secured funding and finally handed in my resignation from teaching by the end of that second year. This marked my official start of study for the Doctor of Philosophy degree in Chemistry at the University of Texas at Arlington, a course that took about five years. My passion for the sciences stemmed from my dad, Peter Thomas, who also is a research biologist. As I grew older, I gravitated towards chemistry, for I felt comfortable with it and saw it as a building block of science and life itself. So you still insist why a doctorate in chemistry? I have always been determined to go the distance with chemistry, and my mindset was that science gives you training and instrumentation and procedure in a short period but not the principle behind it all. Such leaves the individual stagnant and easily disposable. Hence, I I just wanted the higher platform, an area where intellectuals dwell, and a place where stars come and go, a place where I can alone can determine my self-worth. A doctorate, I thought, was my determinant factor, and I could push and challenge me to do research, um, to help solve problems, to teach undergraduates, and to impact the world. To date, I have published four papers in some of the top scientific journals in the U.S. and in Europe, and I've been working alongside scholars from other universities in the U.S., Hungary, and Brazil, and top individuals in the industry. There is no stopping me now, and honestly, my family expects that of me. The greatest challenges I've faced, the one was being plunged into a male-dominated area. Um, The squeeze started from day one, and I was... Or as when I was oriented, and um, it continued there on, on through my five years. But I was determined to erase that stigma, though. My resolve was to stand up and stand out amongst and in front of the best, for only the best mattered. So the whole journey itself was a challenge, you know, going through, attending classes, doing research, writing proposals, making presentations, and of course that dreaded defense at the end. If it was all easy, then everyone would venture into it. The pressures of life itself threw a whole curveball in the way, and I had to be strong, steadfast, and emotionally fixed, for at the end the reward is sweeter. Not just for me, but for my mother, my father, my two sisters, and my dear husband and son, and all of those who helped me along the way. So to my listeners... The words of Sister Gabrielle Mason, my former principal at St. Joseph's Convent, kept ringing in my ears throughout my journey, or educational journey. And she would always say, you can make it anywhere and do anything. All you need are the four Ds. Discipline, determination, dedication, and dependence on God. To the younger generation, I say stand tall and strong, for these are the pillars to success. Create for yourself a solid support system for reassurance and motivation. Quitting should not be an option. The road to success may be tedious, 
but its last turn will always be the best. Carry a little chip on your shoulder if you must, but remember that there is nothing greater than the wonderful little quality of humility. My greatest support system was and still is my husband Peter McMillan and my son Jonathan. You cannot be a better comforter. My parents, Peter Thomas, so we say Peter Tom, and Vilma Thomas will forever remain my chief inspiration. My sisters Shimika and Andrea, and my aunts and uncles and numerous friends, I did it all for us. Thank you so much.